Interestingly time consuming, but we do it. You know, every time they call, I go, okay, wow, we come to the studio. Yes. So, anybody else gonna be there? No. Okay, fine. Just Brad, me and Brad. Okay, that's good. So, it's 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 an amazing challenge to be in a room with just one person, uh, not knowing what's actually gonna be on screen, and him describing it to me verbally and saying, okay, now say it. And so, that makes us pretty accomplished. We're getting things done for a very long time. Uh, people have been, you know, wanting this film, wanting this film, and uh, I think people that saw this film at a certain age have had kids now, and they're showing them one so they can bring them to this one. Well, this is amazing. I, I mean, bringing them back is kind of fun. Um, shutting down Hollywood Boulevard, I, I, it's it's cool. It's big. Yeah, Brad loves it. I mean, well, Brad. I mean, it is. It's kind of like a spy movie ultra uber sophisticated kind of 60s um freewheeling i mean the movie has so many different influences that are directly from brad's own passions his childhood his parenting he's kind of thrown it all into the mix in a really personal way which is i think what people really um relate to the movie that's why they relate yeah, I, I, you know, it's Elastigirl really gets to live up to her gift in this movie with at, with 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 um, with abandon, um, with a sense of glee. So I, it's been really fun for me to record this this part of the movie. I'm really excited. I, I'm just going to have fun like everybody else. I hope. Yeah, it's uh, it, it always it's stunning. I, you know, the thing I feed off of are my grandkids and uh, how much they're into it. Now I've got great grandkids, 
So it's going to be like great, you know, fantastic to see them and see the reactions and and all of that. So I'm, you know, that's fun. My character Winston Dever is a mogul, and he's hooked into the media, and he wants to bring supers back out of un, of hiding and bring them back to the public and get people to love them again. Yeah, wow. Um, you know, I love Pixar films so much, like everybody. I, I appreciate the expertise of the, the production team and the actors and the writers, and it's always jam-packed with great story and great characters and laughs. And so it's an honor to be a part of it. I was thrilled to be included. And watching it develop over the year that I did it, and it got better and better and better, and there were more layers and more things to see, and the, the, the visuals are so rich. It's like, they're like beautiful paintings that move. The style of the film, of the characters, of the angles, is that mid-century modern that Brad Bird loves. It's fun to see, it's beautiful and clean, and there's such depth to it in this film. I think they've gotten better at animation than even they were two years ago. So it's, it, I can't believe what they do with the 3D feeling of it, you know? I brought my friends, and uh, I think it because we all had small children when the first one came out, and now they're 18 and 23, and they came with me. And they're all so excited, as much as, as they were, you know, however many years ago. I don't know, it's very exciting. It was one movie I was very happy to get a part in. I have to say, it was thrilling. Well, it's been quite a while for us, the real people, but um, not much time has elapsed for the actual characters. But that said, you know, from the previous movie, Violet, um, my character sort of went through a lot and is much more confident and better able to use her powers. And now she's just dying to go out there and save the world. And she gets to do a little bit of that and a lot of babysitting. What I love most is the score, the music. And so I really look forward to seeing, like, seeing the whole movie and listening to Michael Giacchino's entire score because I feel like his music is almost as much of a character as anyone else. Yeah, um, I think it's just so awesome that I get to be here. I, I got flown out to L.A. where I actually live in New York, so uh, this is just amazing. Well, my character is Dash, and his superpower is super speed, and I've always wanted that superpower because I love running and being enthusiastic and energetic. Well, I loved the original movie. My mom and my dad showed me it. And I loved it. And then when I got when I got the call for an audition, I was like, "Oh my God! I gotta practice! I gotta practice!" And I used that as an excuse to watch the movie more. I mean, it's such a thrill, you know. I found out that I was gonna be doing this movie back last year, and then went up to Pixar and recorded, and and to have it finally be ready, you know, I, I'd seen snippets of it that were unfinished, and then as a cast, we got to see the movie partially finished. So it's been really special to feel so invested in the process and I, I just can't wait to see. Yes, so I play a super named Void and she's a young girl who is really trying to find her place in the world, you know, as, as this movie is about family and identity and how we see ourselves, Void is no different. She's trying to figure out if the world is going to accept her for who she is, as she is. Well, the characters are wildly beloved, I think because the movie really tapped into something not only for kids but for parents as well and everyone in between. And being one of the newbies, if you will, uh, it's really fun for me because my character is Elastigirl's biggest fan. And so in a way, I got to fangirl her in the film in the way that so many people feel about these characters in real life. So uh, I think Void kind of represents all of us in that way. And to see Mr. Incredible trying to figure out how to stay home and be Mr. Mom and let his wife shine, to see Elastigirl really come out to the forefront and get her due and, and be the big hero, these are really beautiful things to watch and they're also hilarious because they've done such a good job with the film. I want to be able to teleport. I want to snap my fingers and be in New York, snap my fingers and be anywhere I need to be. I'd save so much time and money at the airport, you know? 
through the moon. We've been working on this so hard and working so hard to this day uh, that we forgot that there would be a day like yep. this because we're working so hard and suddenly here we are. It's like this magic thing and the film is working really well. People are we liking like it. it. We like the yeah. film. We think you will too. It's, uh, <laughs> it's working so well that they built a house on Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, and we're all moving in. Yeah. We have the Devers, which are a brother and sister uh, team of, um, they, they kind of d design and run this huge conglomerate. And they have taken uh, pity on the superhero's plight, because they're I illegal in, in this world. And they've decided to put their expertise behind bringing them back. We also have a crew of up and coming new superheroes that are really fun. They're not the sort of top of the line superheroes. Some of them are a little <laughs> rough around the edges. Yeah. And I think that's what makes them so charming. Uh, yeah. They're, they're playing minor league ball. <laughs> <laughs> but, we, but they're still, the they're still fun to watch. They're still fun to watch. No, they're really more of a family than they are superheroes. They just, they're a family that happens to have superpowers. They give me a lot of room, which is really nice, you know, and they, 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 they leave space in the film for me to add another character, which is, you know, it's not always the case when you're working on films, and, and it is really fun when you can do that. Um, and, you know, of course, this film is just filled with the style of music that I absolutely loved growing up and listened to incessantly and still do, uh, you know, but, you know, between Hoyt Curtin and Barry, John Barry and uh, Henry Mancini and all of these guys, I mean, they were my heroes growing up and I loved the movies that they wrote for. So to be able to kind of write a love letter, a musical love letter to them is, is, is great. And to be able to do it again 14 years later is even better. We have a real, yes, we absolutely have a shorthand and we have an honesty with each other, which I love. Like, there's nothing we cannot say to each other. He'll let me know when something I'm doing isn't working or I could do the same for him. And it's a really a, a great collaboration. But the most important thing about it is we have so much fun working together. It's really just always a blast, no matter what it is. And I always know that no matter what he's making, I will always say yes to it because he's just one of my favorite filmmakers. The reaction of an audience reminds you why you're doing it, you know, because it does mean something to them. It means a lot to them. And and, and when you work on something, uh, when you're lucky enough to work on something like The Incredibles, I mean, that means a lot to me. You know, the fact that people embrace it the way they do. So it makes you work even harder on what you're doing.